Hello everyone, I'm Codex, and as you can see, your escape Age of Annihilation is finally here. After somewhere around 15 years since the last Hero Escape came out, Renegade Studios and Avalon Hill have given us a brand new run. Right now there are two boxes plus a terrain box that are available if they aren't sold out. I got this one just this last weekend, and, and the other one is arriving probably next weekend. But that gives us time to dig into this one first. And I got the unpainted set, so there will be a lot of work to get this table ready. For now though, we're just going to unbox it and see what we have in store for us. I'm going into this fairly blind. I am a pretty big HeroScape fan going back the 20 years ago when I was but a wee codex, a pamphlet, if you will. But as far as this set goes, I don't really know much other than what's on the box here. We've got a couple more demonic looking Valkyrie here, some polar bears. I see a four-armed gunslinger, someone else back there with a knife, and of course the big dragon sort of character here, someone skulking in the background. And we've got a full spread here, showing off the full terrain, and it looks pretty much like the originals. Oh, sorry about that. I just noticed how horribly framed that was for a moment, because of how big this is. Looks like we still have glyphs. They went with the white dice. Okay, well, let, let's open this up and see. Minor criticism, I do wish that instead of the sliding out box like this, they had gone with what is now the more standard lift top lid, but that's pretty minor. And this is why. In editing, I will definitely lower the volume for that section or mute it entirely. Okay, it's been long enough and I don't have the, all the original packaging for my old RuneScape. Wrong scape. I'm keeping this in just because that is a pretty funny flub. I don't have all the packaging from my old HeroScape anymore, so I don't remember if it came with the nice packaging for all the miniatures, but it is nice they're giving it to us now because miniatures are hard to store most of the time. We've got a pretty nice paint job here. It's got a little bit of shading. Not a lot. I'll probably have to enhance it before I actually paint everything. Here are those dice. They went with the white multi-use dice that they had later in the games. I am going to do another video comparing new and old, but for now we're just looking at what we have here. They've gone pretty consistently with a purple theme this time. I like the consistency and it is a nice shade, and it does set it apart from all the others. We do have the classic crimson though for the damage counters and glyphs. So let's look at what else is here. Oh, there's our tiles. Look, again, it looks like... The tiles look and feel... They're a little looser in their connections here. That's both good and bad. Again, I'll at some point do another video comparing. They did go with the translucent water, that's good too. The matte blue water that they had for a while in the original run was so boring. They... Looks like... Oh, yeah. Modular walls and ruins. That's what this looks like. Bases. Pillars and walls. Very good. 
here's our bigger minis. There's that one Kyrie riding some kind of saber-toothed tiger or something. The plastic is a nice, somewhat flexible, heavy quality plastic, so that's good. This guy looks far more skeletal unpainted than he did on the box. Three tails. And then underneath this, I assume, yep, there's our bigger tiles. And we've got the rule book and our uh, scenarios, just like before, where it gives us maps to build. Oh, and it looks like they have, yeah, they've got background on all the miniatures. I'm not, I don't recall if they gave us that in the scenario book in the old ones. I would assume so. I've got, I need to look again. It's been too long. So I'll be able to do lore as I paint. Oh, that's Raylan. Raylan was one of the original base set characters. She has turned to the dark side. We'll get to that when we paint. I'll also have to look to see if they've made any major rule changes. And then we've got character cards. Still the cool hexagon patterns. And yes, they went with the exact same... Hmm. Another comparison thing, I'm noticing that does look kind of translucent. Maybe thinner plastic. I'll have to compare thickness when I... Don't take that out of context, please. Alright, so first we've got Xenothrax the Vine Weaver. Go figure, he summons vines. So... I assume the tail goes this way. One thing I am liking for sure is how colorful everything is. Look at those purple wings and yellow body. That is some nice contrast. And of course, as I actually build these and paint them, I will have better views of them, but this is one big miniature. They had some pretty good sized ones in the old sets, but I think this one is... If it's not the biggest, it's in the top three, that's for sure. Again, some pretty nice shadings, so it'll be a good opportunity to break out some contrast paints and give them a try because that's one method of painting I have yet to do. Let's set him aside for now. I'll disassemble him back and then put him away later. Oh, where's the card for Raylan? I might as well look at her before... There we go. Here's Raylan. Yep, she's a Gar now. They're the pretty standard evil faction. They're the ones who started the war, all that good stuff. Again, we have some nice bright reds. And they went with actual art instead of, in the originals, they a lot of times used pictures of the miniatures. The art definitely gives good guide for the painting. I do kind of wish they'd done two separate art pieces for the front and back, but again, that's not... I mean, it's not a big deal. That's just my preference that it would have been cool, but I don't blame them in the slightest. So now let's take a look some more. Good enough for now. Something is blocking it. Oh yeah, and Xenothrax was Aquila. I do not recognize that faction. I'm sure it was still a thing. It's just not one that stood out to me. Also Aquila. We have Dorim the Bulkhead Brawler. I'm noticing a lot fewer Earthlings in this base set. Originally they had quite a few. There were like Vikings, Samurai, 
and the World War II battalion. So they went the other way this time. So we've got this dwarf sort of guy oh, right here. There is some pretty nice detail on the sculpts. Overall, these are really nice miniatures. We've got a hero polar bear for Jandar. This is a big polar bear, because here's the other one. He's definitely the hero. Again, pretty nice sculpt. We've come a long way in 20 years with mass production of sculpting. Miserax the Kyrie Warrior. She's the one, I think, that was skulking in that tomb on the cover. If your parents name you Miserax, then yes, you're going to become evil. I love the variety in wings amongst all these characters. It certainly does kind of reinforce who's good and who's evil. She's a Revna, not an Utgar, but still. Again, Okay, it looks like Revna is kind of a necromantic death kind of faction. We've got Rackchot, Steward of Death. I like the colors, but I might push them a little into the slightly brighter when I paint it. We will see. That is a cool miniature. I might paint that one fairly soon. I need to decide who I want to play first to decide, obviously, who to paint first. We've got another Kyrie Lavi attack, another Utgar Kyrie, very demonic looking. And that's her right there. I do really like these demonic looks. That might be who I play. I might start off as a Utgar player. Oh, here's that forearm gunslinger. Alpha Prime. I think this is from the same places as the Death Walkers. And it is a robot, so that would make sense. Um, we've got a four-armed blade person here, but there's the Gunslinger. That's got some heavy shading to it compared to the others. Oh, here's our other polar bears. This is the first squad we've come across. So we've got one. Two, three, and where are there four? I thought there were four. Yes, there were four. Where's the fourth one? There he is. I am noticing there is a lot of variance in how heavily shaded these are. So I think I am going to have to reshade them. Can I remember where each of these guys went? Next squad is Exiles of the Sundered Sea. So we've got a kind of we've got pirates. Dropping things again. There's this guy in the back. And then we've got nope, that's something different. Oh, there's one of the pirates. There's a guy in the front. At least they kept the poses are the same in the art, so it is obvious who's who. And then the cap, what looks like captain there. Obviously not a full-blown captain since they aren't a hero. And the last squad, we've got the knaves of the Silver Scimitar. Kind of a, gives me desert planet vibes. Oh, Captain's Way. So yes, it's definitely sand pirate sort of thing going on there. So there's them. And the forearmed in the back. And last but not least. So yes, there's the where to put the bag? There it is. There's the first box set for Age of Annihilation. We've got everything looked at here, and I'm going to do a video comparing the old stuff and the new stuff. So if you want to see that comparison video, as well as the 
deluge of painting videos, be sure to subscribe and put a comment down below what you think I should paint up first and which characters I should play. And until then, have a good day.